Hi, boys and girls. Today, we are going to be starting our unit on map skills and social studies. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay. All right. In the picture, you see a picture of our globe, of our Earth. As you can see, the Earth is a sphere, like a soccer ball or a basketball. You know, at one point, people actually thought that if you were sailing in a boat and you, you sailed too far, you would actually fall off the end of the Earth. Today, we know that's not true. If I started on a boat here and it was sailing this way, I would just keep sailing, keep sailing, until eventually I hit land. In fact, that's how Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas. He believed the Earth is round or a sphere, and he thought, well, eventually I'll be able to keep going and I'll land in the West Indies. What he didn't take into account was the continent of North America, okay? So let's go ahead and let's learn about maps and how to read them. All right, right here what you're looking at is a map. This is just a flat picture of our Earth. And what we're seeing here is actually seven continents. Now a continent, a continent, boys and girls, is simply a large mass of land. So all the colors you see here, the brown, the pink, those are land. This light blue right here that surrounds all of it, that's the ocean. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So we have seven continents. We have North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. Now on this map, I have drawn two imaginary lines. Our world is divided by two imaginary lines. The first one is right here. You see that light gray blue color going all the way across? That is called the equator. Now this is an imaginary line. That means it does not actually exist, okay? It is a line that divides our world into a northern hemisphere and into a southern hemisphere. And this matches what our compass row says. So the top half, if you're on top of the equator, you're in the north. If you're underneath the equator or on the bottom half, you're in the south. And we also have the prime meridian. Now the prime meridian is this red line that goes, that goes straight down the middle vertically. Okay, is that red line? Everything to the right of that red line is considered to be in the Eastern hemisphere. Everything to the left is considered to be in the Western hemisphere. So let me show you what I mean. I just placed this box to the right of the prime meridian. So this box is in the Eastern hemisphere and that matches right here, Eastern. Now if I was to move the box on this side of the prime meridian, it is now in the Western hemisphere. If I moved it on top of the equator, this is the Northern hemisphere. And on the bottom, this is our southern hemisphere. And I'll explain why that's important in a few moments. Okay, and here's another slide just showing you the northern and southern hemisphere. And the reason why we divide our Earth along this imaginary line is because our planet is actually rotating on an axis, which means that parts of our planet are receiving more sunlight than other parts. Like for instance, did you know that during our winter here in Virginia, it is actually summertime in Australia? And in a few months, when it's gonna be really hot here in Virginia, it's going to be winter in Australia. That's because they're going to be receiving less sun during that time. Okay, and now we also have our prime meridian Everything on this side is on the Eastern Hemisphere. Everything on this side is in the Western Hemisphere. So the prime meridian is an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole to the South Pole at zero degrees longitude. 
The prime meridian divides the globe into two equal parts called the Western and Eastern Hemisphere. And here we have another picture showing it. The first two top pictures show the equator. So if you look at this one, you see the equator line in red and everything on top of the equator is shaded in dark gray. This is the Northern Hemisphere. So taking a look, I can see that North America is located in the Northern Hemisphere. So is Europe, Asia, and large parts of Africa. Now for our Southern Hemisphere, you see that the gray is shaded underneath the equator. And we can see that in the Southern Hemisphere, we have Antarctica, Australia, some parts of Africa and the majority of South America. Now the two bottom globes are the Western Hemisphere and the Eastern Hemisphere. The Western is everything on this side. Again, that matches the compass rose. And we can see that North America and South America and part of Antarctica are located in the Western Hemisphere. This one shows the Eastern Hemisphere. And you can see that Asia, Australia, parts of Antarctica, and large parts of Europe and Africa are located in the Eastern Hemisphere. All right, here I have, I'm providing a map of our planet. You can see our seven continents, and you can also see the oceans. So we have North America, Virginia is right about there. Saber, I know you were just saying you were just in Florida, so you were down here. But either way, the ocean that's closest to us is the Atlantic Ocean right here, okay? So the continent we live in is North America. We also have South America, Antarctica, Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia. And here we have our compass rows, north, south, east, west. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at these questions. Number one, is Europe located in the northern or southern hemisphere? Hmm, well, the first, for me to be able to answer this, I need to know, well, where's Europe? All right, so Europe is located right here. All right, boys and girls, is that in the northern or southern? Well, if I'm talking about north and south, I know I'm either talking about the top or the bottom. So I'm talking about either north or south of the equator. And I see that Europe is on top of the equator. So it's going to be located in the northern hemisphere. If you got that right, boys and girls, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. All right, number two. Is Australia located in the, no in the northern or southern hemisphere? Well, let's see. First step, we need to find Australia. Now it says north or south. Hmm, well I know north is on top, south is on the bottom. Here's the equator line. Oh, and Australia is located underneath the equator. So I'm gonna say it's in the Southern Hemisphere. All right, boys and girls, if you got that right, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. All right, number three. Which continent is located in the Northwestern Hemisphere? Oh my goodness, so now we have two hemispheres. Well, it says North, and I know North is anything from here all the way to here. So we've got North America, Europe, Africa, Asia, but it also says Northwest. So I know it has to be on this side of the prime meridian. So on top and on this side, oh, there it is, North America. North America will be our answer. All right, and our last question, boys and girls. Is the majority of Asia located in the Eastern or Western Hemisphere? Well, let's go ahead and find Asia. I see Asia's right here. And remember, our world's actually a globe, so it's a sphere. And I also see a little bit of Asia right over here. But again, I said, what is the, where is the majority 
of Asia located? And I see the majority is located right here. Now, is it located in the eastern or western? So I gotta figure out what is this side? Well, here's my prime meridian, it's to the right. So that means eastern. All right, boys and girls, if you got that right, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. You are acing your math skills. All right. Um, well, this ends our lesson on the prime meridian, equator, and hemisphere. Please be on the lookout for a Nearpod on this topic. All right, boys and girls, have a wonderful day. Bye, you guys.